Welcome to Leisha Today. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about my first time doing a sublimation puzzle. So if you're interested in how to do a sublimation puzzle, then stay tuned. So I'm going to use my HTV RON Auto Heat Press, which I need to turn on. So I'm going to turn it on, okay, and I'm going to put it on 380 for 60 seconds, okay. So again, I put it on 380 for 60 seconds, so let's get the uh, puzzle um, ready for sublimation. So I've already um, created my design that I want to use. So then I'm just going to basically size it out so that I'm able to um, put it onto the puzzle. Make sure you're using a puzzle that is accessible to sublimation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down my I'm going to put it this way, okay? So I just want to cut it down a little bit just so that I'm able to tape it and not worry about exactly where the sizing is. Let's see. Make sure when you're cutting it, too, that you try to measure it just so that you don't accidentally cut too much. So we'll cut the back side. All right, so the other thing you want to do is, I'm going to flip it, so I'm just making sure that I'm getting it pretty much centered on there. Okay. Let's see, where is the name? All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of fold this paper over so I know where the lines are. So I'm just going to cut those off as well. So I'm doing all of this while my heat press is heating up so that I'm able to pretty much use my time wisely. Right. 
just try to make sure it's straight when I put it in here. Because sometimes you think it's straight and it's not. So. All right, so it looks good to me. All right, so then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this to here. I'm just trying to center it as best as I can. Okay, so then I'm going to get my heat tape. So that's what another. Um, that's another thing you need to have for this. So you need your puzzle, you need your sublimation print, all of that, ready to go. And then I have my tape. So I'm going to tape my blank. I don't know if this is going to sublimate onto the back, so I'm just trying to make sure I don't get any of this print on the back of the puzzle because that's not what we're trying to do. I'm going to fold that over top of that. Okay, and then I'm going to tape it down. And then I'm going to do the same to the other side. Like I said, I'm just getting little scraps from an earlier project project that I did. And these just don't have any type of sublimation on them, so I'm not worried about that getting on the back. So I have my puzzle all taped up. So it's almost ready. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a piece of paper to put for the front in the back. So I usually just use some regular like copy paper to do that. Just so that I don't get any sublimation ink onto my heat press. All right. So once it's finished heating, then I'll show you how I press it. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to place the puzzle. So first I'm going to place the copy paper. Then I'm going to place the puzzle. And then I'm going to place another piece of copy paper. Okay? And so I am going to put this on. Here, let me show you guys. So I'm going to set this to do auto. Okay, so it's on 380 for 60 seconds. Make sure you get your heat gloves. So that's what I'm going to go get now. And then I will show you the finished product. Okay. Alright, so it's ready. All right, so sometimes the paper sticks to the top, so if it doesn't come out, try to make sure you get your paper out of there. What is it? What is it here? So make sure you grab your paper. <laughs> Have heat goes on. All right, so I'm just going to take this off, like, right now. I'm not going to wait. Okay, so... Right. 
I'm going to flip this over so that you guys can see the reveal with me. All right. So, oh, that came out beautiful. That came out so beautiful. Okay, so there's two things I want to show you. One, I want to show you this beautiful puzzle. So look at that. That came out beautiful. What do you guys think? So those settings work for this puzzle. I also wanted to show you the reason why I put down um, the paper on the top and the bottom. So of course the top page doesn't have anything on it, so you can see. But this bottom page, you can kind of see some of the sublimation went on to the paper. And that's what I was trying to prevent from getting on my heat press. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more great videos on sublimation and any other other crafts I have. So I just wanted to show you guys one more time how beautiful that came out. Alright you guys, stay blessed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.